Welcome back to another Psych Interactive Studios tutorial. In this episode, we're going to take a look at lens flare and some masks to create this cool effect. So let's get started. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by pressing the subscribe button and the notification icon below. We upload videos every week. Welcome back and let's start by creating a new composite you can either create the new composite down here or right click create new composite or composition um, we're gonna call it logo intro um, the size is alright if you want to go large larger you can use change the size here let's just the duration let's uh, create a 10 seconds 15, 15 seconds and zero frames. And here we go. So now what? Let's start typing in have it in black so it doesn't if you click S while you have your layer selected, that's for scale. Let's just scale this up. You can either move it to the right or the left, or just type in the percentage. Let's just and there we go. So we have the name that we want to use at this point to center this is a good good trick right here use this the title action safe so you can center things and you can have things more you see the cross right here um, it helps you to visualize it the, the entire screen um, so now all right so we have our layer with the name of the logo so now what we want to do we want to create a new solid. You can either right click or just go to file, new solid. And then you want to have the solid black because we're going to cre create a lens flare and the light is white. So we're going to need that black background and we're going to call it lens zero zero one so now we have it on top of it um, what I want to do you can go to effects generate lens flare and there you have it so by just you see the center of the light you can just by clicking and dragging it you can see the difference or the effects so we have three different sets of lights here you can use 50 or the 35 millimeters or we can also use this one which is bluish it's between white blue and some yellow this one looks interesting let me see the first one yes yeah, so let's use the blue light for now and then what you want to do with your Let's just change the mode to add. So now we can see the the type, the, the entire text, the logo, or if you have a graphic, you can just replace this text tool. Um, so let's go back and click the lens flare. So how do we animate this? If you see here on your effects control, um, you can either just move the light like this right here horizontally or just like this i prefer to use it just click slightly click the center and it will reveal itself and just move it around so on the first second i'm gonna put the center right here and then let's just get it all the way to two seconds. I'm gonna leave it 
right here. So let's just hit spacebar and see. Oh, so we have a net lens flare going on. Let I think this animation will be only five seconds, or let's just take it to seven seconds. And just right click here and then trim the comp work area and then trim the chrome work area um, so there we go so we have an animation if you click the your layer just press U and uh, you will see whatever elements are animated they will keep showing up um, so we have the light at least the animation of the light that we want right now um, the second thing you want to do is just make it appear and disappear so let's just click here and press T or for opacity and then we're gonna start on the first second on zero the first frame maybe we can just move one two three four five six seven eight and then the light will appear at a hundred percent and then when it's all the way to two seconds has to let's just copy and paste this one then on two seconds it will go to zero there we go so let's see how it looks let's just close this up nice so now we see the lens flare appearing and then disappearing on screen excellent now let's put a mask on this layer. Just click by selecting the your layer. Just click the rectangle tool. Now we have the mask in place. So that's the end result. That's the end result that we want. And let's just animate the path of the mask. And let's just go back to where the light reveals the logo. So it should be right here. So let's just start. Just click your pointer. Um, click on the center of the layer and then just click back. And that's how you can just go back. Quick trick, if you click on it without clicking shift, it will go like this. But if you want to straight up, just click shift while you're dragging your mask. And let's see it. Oh, nice. So now you can see the logo being revealed. Let's just do one more thing. Let's just add a 5% to the mass. Let's just remove the lens flare for now. Just to take a look at the mask. There we go. Nice. Alright, so just by looking at, let's take a look, let's just, so let's just, rem, let's just see the layer again, and the animation, so that's nice, we have the, the logo revealing, and we have the feather on the logo as well, let me see. See, then we have a nice feather. Hmm. All right, so let's see how it looks if we add a background. Let's just right click and add a solid. So now we have a solid on the back. Maybe the, the lens flare is a little strong. Let's just leave it on 15. And there we go.
so one thing we can do is that we can duplicate by command D the lens flare and then I'm gonna that's the scale so we have different lens flare around let's see how this looks and maybe I can move this here let's see what's the effect huh. so maybe is it this one will be lens flare soft let's name it lens soft all right so now um let's just go back to the view so now we have two lens flare mm, do we want this one in, in a different color maybe let's see how it looks nice it looks like a bee <laughs> let's see i think the intensity could be much less maybe 25 you kind of have the same effect that the same lens flare brings but what happen if we start just to get a little crazy here duplicating efforts with different lens flares let's see see this is how you start creating your own effect within an effect so the system might have a, the regular lens flare, but then you start trying to figure out uh, your your brand and how do you want your logo to appear. Maybe we can add other graphics to it. But that's, you get the feeling, that's how you play with the masks and the different effects that you, you can have. <laughs>